Introducing Al Bin Ism Albinism. Oh, hey, camera. I'm Dr. Professor. Today I'll be talking to you about Albinism. Did you know that albinism affects literally ones out of every 20,000 human beings? That's like trying to find that one different colored jelly bean in a bag full of the same colored jelly beans. Mm. Albinism involves various lacks of pigment in your skin, hair, and eyes. That leads to your skin being extremely pale, even paler than that guy. Ah! And something that's totally crazy is that albinism can be found in all races. The most common form of albinism is oc oc oculo oc cutaneous albinism, which affects the hair, eyes, and skin. In the most severe form of this form of albinism, all three of those parts of your body remain pure white for life. But in less severe forms, you'll gain some pigmentation in your hair, skin, and eyes with age. Another form of albinism ocular albinism affects only the eyes, but it can also lead to other vision problems, like blindness. I bet you were completely clueless that this different flavored jelly bean was caused by an autosomal recessive trait. Different colored jelly bean is a metaphor for albinism. That trait was caused by an error in one or more genes for making melanin. Melanin is used for making skin pigment. If both your parents carry the trait, you'll have a 50% chance of carrying the trait yourself, a 25% chance of not showing or carrying the trait of albinism, and a 25% chance of being albino. Hmm, that sounds a lot like maple syrup urine disease. Albinism isn't caused by environmental factors, but it is caused by a mutation on chromosome 9 or 15. However, environmental factors like sunlight can lead to skin cancer, which you will be at a much higher risk of getting because you're an albino. Here's a skit to show you what I mean. <sighs> ah. Certain blood tests, amniocentesis, and chorionic villus sampling can determine if your baby jelly bean is an albino even before it's born. And it shouldn't be too hard to tell if your baby jelly bean is albino after its birth, because it'll probably be pretty pale. There's no real treatment for albinism, but genetic counseling before birth can tell you if your baby will be at risk of albinism. Aside from that, all you can really do is to try to avoid the sun because as an albino jelly bean, you'll have a much higher risk of developing skin cancer. I've been Dr. Professor, and I hope today all of you jelly beans out there of every color and flavor under the rainbow have learned a little bit more about that little different colored jelly bean called albinism. Good night, and good luck. And I'm out. <laughs>